to know you hide It's all on you, cause you the show child Girls, get up, look around Everybody see what's going down Brothers on the side if you're on the wall Hey Gemstones, welcome back to my channel, Beauty Beyond, all things that enhance your beauty. So tonight I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys, and um, I'm going to be talking you guys through the whole thing. And this is the look. And the contacts I have on, I know I'm going to get asked, are the color blue. Um, not quite sure what brand, um, I don't have the packaging anymore. But again, this is the look we're going for. It's pink, yellow, green with a kind of a slightly neutral um highlight so this is the look it is a little bit different than the one that i did do on my blog tv for the ones that were at my blog tv it's not as smoky in the green area so it is a little bit different but i think it's a beautiful look and it's very wearable um not really fall but you know hey i don't have any rolls to make up so let's jump right in the first color that I'm going to use is this green from my Wet n Wild palette, Pride, and I'm going to use my 217 and I'm going to put this in the crease and blend upward. You're just going to take and pack that green on. And again, you're going to balloon upward. Okay, once you do that, you're going to take a small brush, and this one here is just a low carnel brush. Um, I'm going to go into my MAC palette, and I'm going to apply a wedge as my highlight. And do bring it down because you're going to blend that wedge into it. And one thing I like about wedge is a very nice color to blend um, any look out with. So I'm going to go in one more time with wedge. It's very neutral. And you don't have to use MAC. I'm going to go in now with rice paper. And I'm going to add a little bit of rice paper. Not a lot just a little bit sweep it back and forth it's just to change the highlight area a little bit and you're going to blend it into that green okay now that I have that I'm going to go back into or I'm going to go into this pink color and this pink color is called Razzy Raspberry this is a pan shadow from Chalet Cosmetics this look was also, I forgot to tell you guys, was inspired by my girl Hair Trends for You. Shout out to Keisha. These were the colors that she requested that she wanted me to put together. And I put them together and she loved them. So I did a video because everybody on my blog TV loved them. So shout out to Keisha. And you're only going to put the pink halfway because in this inner corner here you're going to put yellow. Okay. And now I'm going to go back over with the green here just to blend that pink out a little bit. I'm going to go back in that pink one more time and pack that on to my lid. 
Okay, once I got that, I'm going to go into the yellow. And this yellow is, again, from Charlotte Cosmetics. It looks like this. And it is called Bumblebee. And I'm just using an angled eyeshadow brush from um, e.l.f. I think it's the eye defining brush. And you just add yellow till you get to the desired intensity of yellow that you want. So I'm just going to add as much as I can. going to go in with that green here and just blend. I'm going to add a little bit more green. And then I'm just going to blend the color out. Okay, I'm going to wipe the 217 off and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go into the next color green in this palette, which is this green right here, if you guys can see that. I'm just going to dab like a little bit on the tip of the brush because I'm not going to go over the top. I'm just going to go in on the top here right where the, the highlight and the green meet is where I'm going to go. Okay. And um, I feel like my yellow did not come out like I wanted it. I'm going to add a little bit more pink. Okay. And again, just to go over. Now I'm going to take a makeup wipe and I'm going to clean up my edge. I'm going to clean up under my eye too because I got a little fallout. Which is due to my fault because I didn't top off my brush like I was supposed to. And I didn't say this at the beginning of the video. The only thing that I primed my eye with was my MAC Pink Pot. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little off today. Um. So, anyway, I, that's all I used was my MAC Pink Pot. I primed my eye with that. And so, now I'm going to go and use my um, Line Stiletto from Maybelline. I'm going to line my upper lash line. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my Mega Plump Mascara. I'm going to add this to my top lashes. And just add a good coat of this mascara.
next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and line my um, lower lash line, my water line actually. And I'm using my Milani Liquify Eye. Okay. And now that you have that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, apply my lashes. And um, I'm going to apply my lash and then I'm going to come back and um, let you guys know what else I've done. I'm going to apply my lashes, my blush, and everything else and I will let you guys know what I used. Alright guys, so I'm back. So, um, I am going to tell you guys what I did. I went ahead and applied my lashes. Um, and the lashes that I used were Bliss 202s. These are happen to be one of my favorite, um, pairs of lashes to use. Um, I think I'm going to have to order some of these off of eBay because they are totally my favorite. Okay, for my pressed powder, I actually used my, um, MAC and NW43. I use a float between NW43 and NW45. Um, for my lips, I line my lips with my lip liner Coco from NYX, which Coco is um, kind of like a reddish brown. So it's that color there. And then I um, applied my Revlon lip gloss in Nude Luster. And I really like these Revlon lip glosses. Um, for my ch uh, Bronzer, I use my Jane bronzer, and it doesn't really have, it's called Sunkissed Bronze. Looks like this, Jane bronzer. It looks like that. So I use that. And then I used, for my blush, I use my Estee Lauder blush. And they have one that's called Rosewood Nude Rose. And then it's like it's supposed to be a bronzer. It's called Bronze Goddess. Well, I don't use it as a bronzer. I put all three of them together and make a blush out of it. And that's what I have on my cheeks, if you guys can see. So this is the complete look. I hope you guys like it. Thank you again, Hair Trends for You, for this inspired look. It's very beautiful. I love it. And mwah. bye, guys.